Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about beta and, and what we do, and then I'll share some insights that we have from uh, some of the products that we carry in our stores. So, um, depending on where you got it at with different hardware startups, I think we all know uh, retail as it exists today is, is broken in a lot of ways. Uh, there's two options if you make a hardware product. You can sell it online, you can sell it in traditional physical retail, um, but there's still a little something missing, especially if, if you make something that's, that's innovative and, and requires you know, an in-person interaction. Uh, it's, it's easier, it's quick to sell on e-commerce. Everyone knows you know, it takes a couple minutes to get a Shopify site up and running, uh, but selling your product only online is, is only part of the story there. Uh, especially because um, you know, a lot of the data we've looked at, 78% uh, of people prefer shopping in store, uh, and a similar number of people actually prefer trying and touching merchandise uh, before making a purchase. Especially if it's something innovative and, and something new to market that, that a, a product I'm not familiar with. Uh, really, products like that need to be properly introduced to the world. Putting an image on a website or a box on a shelf um, just doesn't really do that justice. Those types of product need to be tried firsthand. Um, you know, like our, our model riding a, a scooter here in, in front of our, our Palo Alto store. Um, while it's great to be in a physical retail setting, not all of them are created equal, obviously. Um, for example, it doesn't look like the most attractive place to uh, introduce a, a new and innovative product to market. Um, putting it, you know, basically this is a, a warehouse with a slightly better uh, wrapper on it. Um, so although it's, it's good to get the product in front of people in the physical world, um, not always created equal. Um, so Beta, we're not a traditional retailer. Uh, the company was founded by uh, Nest employees. One of them is uh, sitting right there. Um, so because our company came from Nest, uh, really we, we think like a hardware manufacturer. We exist to help hardware makers bring their product to market. Um, we really were born out of hardware technology and, and retail. So um, through that background that we have coming from Nest, really, um, you know, everyone knows the Nest story kind of kicked off the, the IoT boom, for lack of a better word, that we're in the midst of right now. Um, and you know, the reason, one of the main reasons why Nest was so successful is they invested millions of dollars in point of sale displays in retail settings just like this one. Because when Nest came to market, they gave a smart thermostat uh, or a you know security camera like like Dropcam or, or Nest Protect. Um, you know, it was a pretty foreign concept to most people, um, and so Nest knew that that product needed to be experienced um, you know, in a setting like this or like this to actually be understood and, and ultimately purchased. So, um, like I said, they made a huge investment in brick and mortar retail, and um, as we all know, it, it paid off pretty well for the folks uh, at Nest. So we think that innovative products really call for innovative retail. So the way that our stores are set up is, um, our goal is really to get you into retail in, in a matter of days compared to a matter of months or, or even years with a traditional retailer. Um, we have an online sign up where you put in product information. Um, basically, you know, we have a conversation, learn more about the product. Um, very quickly, we're able to get your product up and running in our retail locations. Um, we have a customizable digital display um, that I'll show a little bit more of. Uh, you actually are in full control in real time of your display in our stores. So unlike a normal retail setting where um, even if you did, let's say, have an end cap, those things set twice a year, you're totally locked into your display. Um, ours are actually controlled in real time. Um, and then additionally, um, you can measure your performance in our stores with the real time data that's provided in our dashboard. <coughs> Uh, the way we think about it is really that, that beta is your flagship. Um, you can see here, this is a picture from our Palo Alto store. Every product has its own individual setting and individual display, um, and each company is in full control of that display. So um, it's almost as if every company that we have in this store has their own mini flagship store existing um, within our space uh, because we feel like that's the best way for people to experience products is, is for you to have full control over um, customers' experience of that. So we focus on innovative products and, and hands-on experiences. So a uh, photo here, we've got our, that's the GM of our Palo Alto store. She's trying out a, uh, an innovative product that someone brought into the store for her to, uh, to experience. And, and that's really what we believe is that, um, like I mentioned the data earlier, people prefer trying products hands-on and actually experiencing them. Um, and we want to make sure that our stores are facilitating that. So I have some kind of quotes uh, from partners that we work with currently, and then I have 
bit of a, a case study of, of a particularly successful hardware company that we work with. So uh, it's tough to read that. This is from uh, the CEO of Tracker, um, really saying that you know they see their highest sales in, in retail with us, um, and they also maintain total control of their displays in our store. So not only is it performing well, um, but they're actually able to, to control the way their brand is portrayed within our stores. Uh, and then another product that we work with uh, is the Neo Smart Pen. Um, you know, this product really lends itself to hands-on experience. Um, and as you can see, they have a significant, uh, significantly higher performance in our stores than any other retail um, they've ever been in. Um, and so I wanted to actually delve into specifically um, what this company did that's made them so successful and, and potentially how it can apply to other companies that make hardware products. So um, you see saw the quote there that said that they were achieving 10x sales in some cases uh, that they were with compared to normal retailers. Um, reason for that being is um, you can see that's that's how their product is set up in our stores. The pen is powered on. You can pick it up right with it and actually see on the iPad um, how it works. So it's a smart pen. You write with it. It transcribes your words to an app, and you can easily turn written text into digital text. Um, they tried to sell in, in other retailers previously and, and didn't really have a lot of success. Um, because in our space they have a quick interactive demo in the store, uh, it makes it really easy for people to understand um, how the product works. Um, and I, so I think as a takeaway for you know, how to make an impression with, with retailers, um, you know, I think the, the quicker your product can be understood, um, I think it, it's going to give you the, the best chance for success. Um, like I said, this is, this is a 10 second demo. You pick it up, you write with it, you see the words on the screen, um, and you know, that, that's it basically. Um, so that easy to understand aspect made this product really successful. Um, the pricing. So uh, like I mentioned, we have a dashboard that lets you control the presence for your product in our stores. Um, and Neo um, use our dashboard to actually change their price on a regular basis. They ran campaigns around the holidays. Um, they do A-B testing on their pricing. Um, they move it up and down, um, and the result is that they had you know, massive sales during the holiday season as well as really consistent sales year round. So I think that's a really good takeaway is when you're bringing a hardware product to market, um, it's taking a really hard look at the price of the product because um, you know a lot of times, especially for understanding that you know early stage hardware companies, the focus might be you know let's charge two hundred dollars because we need to make sure we profit off this first production run, um, if possible to. to Kind of lower pricing. I think a lot of times we've seen companies have success in, in scaling a bit faster um, if they get that price down to something a bit more manageable. So I think pricing is a big takeaway. Um, and it seems simple, but the thing works. Um, you pick it up, the demo has, my not, knowledge, never failed in store. It always works when people try it. Um, and customers who take it home love it and, and don't return it because when they take it home it's reliable and it works. So um, you know, taking care to make sure that when you ship the product it's it's ready. Um, you know, maybe that means you ship to backers a month late, but that wouldn't be the first time that happened. So um, I think that really is something that's that's across the board we've seen um, you know the, the reliable products, the ones that have that consistent demo experience uh, are the ones that perform the best. Um, we see hundreds of product demos a month, and um, you know the, the products that we bring into our stores are the ones that can can pull their product out, give us a quick demo, and um, and and have the product actually work on the spot. I think that's um, making that first impression and having the product work on the spot um, is something that, that's that's really really valuable. So um, these are some takeaways I think that that these guys um, used our space really well for. Um, and can sort of help as hardware companies scale um, to learn from, from this experience. Um, so to delve a little bit more back into to how we work. Um, so set up online, I mentioned we have an online sign up, um, which is where you kind of get your product into our system. Um, from there, we evaluate the product, you know, usually see a demo of it or, or try it out with a sample. Um, and then once we determine if the product's a fit, um, you know, you can be selling in stores in, in a matter of weeks or, or days sometimes. Um, all of your inventory is shipped to one location. We allocate it to stores um, and you control everything from that point on from merchandising to um, the digital display in stores. Um, and then analyze from anywhere. So um, I'll show some slides of our software dashboard that will give you an idea of 
um, the type of analytics and, and the control you have of that in store presence. So this is the dashboard. Um, it's projected a little bit blurry, but basically uh, the idea is this is a, a snapshot of your entire presence inside of beta stores. So you have inventory, um, we give you a real-time look at what stock you have allocated in our stores. Um, if you have different SKUs, you have a, a real-time look at what SKUs are available in, in what locations. Um, engagement data, so our stores have cameras uh, that are actually monitoring each individual product. That way you know how many people have seen your product in a given day, week, month. Uh, campaigns, so I mentioned the ability to control the price. You can actually schedule campaigns through our software um, that will start on any given day um, and run for a duration that you choose. So if you have a marketing calendar where you know that uh, the price of your product is going to change, you can actually schedule it to do that um, through our software. Um, Real-time sales data um, and then revenue as well. So you always have a, a um, real-time look of, of where you're performing um, from a revenue perspective. So the, the product display, um, like I mentioned, you have a real-time control over that. So every product has an iPad sitting next to it. Um, that digital display is controlled through our software. So the price can be changed, description, all the imagery. Um, I'll show you that. So here's where you swap out images. Um, again, any changes that are made in our dashboard are actually reflect, reflected real-time um, in the store. kind of swipe through here to give you a sense for what it's like to actually swipe through one of our displays in store. Um, so you've got a description of the product. Um, this is where you can render a YouTube video. So literally just dropping in a, a YouTube link into our platform, and it'll render on the in-store iPad. And then you can also add imagery, um, product shots, um, lifestyle shots, anything like that. Uh, basically just kind of, you know, since our, our company launched in December 2015, um, we've gotten quite a bit of press, and as we've expanded this year and, and uh, into 2017, um, you know, quite a bit of, of buzz going on. We have three locations right now, uh, and we're expanding that um, significantly through the course of the year. Where are the other locations besides Palo Alto? Um, so we have Palo Alto, and then we actually launched a pilot with Lowe's in November of 2016. So we have two stores in Southern California and one um, in Livermore. And then in Santa Monica and Seattle, we opened those stores in December of 2016. And the next store we're going to open is going to be in Austin. Uh, that will open looking like sometime in, in Q2 right now. Uh, and then we have uh, several more stores that are going to open uh, the course of this year. That's pretty much it in terms of the, the presentation.